a sinister submarine eel with rows of teeth and a bulldog bite versus being dangled underneath a helicopter into a crocodile's nest. I am not even joking. Which of these moments from Deadly 60 do you think is going to win our Deadly Showdown? My name's Steve Batchel, and this is my Deadly Showdowns, where I take moments from Deadly and compare them and put them head to head in one big, well, showdown. Clue's kind of in the title, isn't it? And this time round, it's all about the animal that has the biggest bite. So, who's up first? Well, this is the moray eel. As a diver, there are several animals that you have to be concerned about, and it's never the things you'd expect. You're never worried about getting eaten by sharks. You are worried sometimes about certain kinds of jellyfish and moray eels, because they may initially seem to be friendly, but they will on occasion bite, and they have a ferocious nip. Over the years on Deadly, we've tried to come up with lots of different ways of quantifying the animals that we find and are trying to put them in order in terms of their capabilities. And one of the most important things I came up with to do that was called the bite test. We have tried it with so oh many different creatures, a whole range of different crocodilians, alligators, Komodo dragons, spotted hyenas, and most of the time it's ended pretty badly. The one that we made for moray eels was about that long and it kind of looked like a lipstick but it worked the same way. What happens is the animal bites down on this section here and then on this gauge will register quite how powerful their bite force is. So let me just try my own bite and see what it registers. My bite force registers a mere 40 pounds per square inch. <laughs> we need to get a moray to give it a nibble. What could possibly go wrong? This was in the seas of Hawaii, and there are many different species of moray eels. On one single dive, I think we encountered six different kinds of moray eels, each of them set apart by their, their coloration, by the marbling, the speckle, the spots, the stripes. Every single one of them utterly beautiful. Look at this! Now I've got two separate species of eels. So we've got a white mouth eel, this one here. Very, very beautiful, covered in blotches. And we actually have a third species. This one's a tiger moray. And a fourth one as well, Simon, look. In one magical moment, I found myself down in amongst the corals, talking about the morays, and one came out from the coral head right in front of my mask as I was talking. It certainly seems quite friendly. But I'm quite glad that I've got the mask protecting my face. I really wouldn't want it nibbling on my nose. There were a few close calls as well. I had one that swam right up in between my legs, somewhere that uh, most people would never ever want to have a moray eel, particularly when you see what their teeth are like. So on the upper jaw, they have different rows of teeth, one on the outside and another one on the inside. They are really spiky and needle-like, pointing back towards the throat. And the head is quite bulbous around here. That's a sign of the muscles that are driving the jaw shut. But what we needed was to get a really good bite on our bite test gauge to be able to figure out how powerful that bite was. Eventually, I found a really good-sized eel. I mean, its head looked like it was bigger than mine. As I lowered the gauge towards it, it grabbed a hold and started shaking and it felt like it was going to wrench my arms out of their sockets. Go on, get stuck in. Wow, it's really, really strong. I could tell that it was generating a huge amount of force and I could not wait to see the gauge and see what number it had represented because it was going to be big. And I looked at it and it wasn't big. In fact, it was practically nothing. And then I realized why. No wonder it's not registering anything. It's punctured. The teeth are so sharp and thin, they've gone right through it. So I don't know in numbers how powerful that bite was, but I'm telling you, you would not want to get bitten.
So who is contender number two? Well, this is one of those moments when if I tell it to someone, they think I'm joking and kind of with good reason. This was in the Northern Territories of Australia. And we were going out working with local scientists looking at saltwater crocodile nests. Salties are the biggest and the heaviest of all reptiles. The biggest ones can be over six meters in length and they can weigh more than a ton. It's one of the very few animals on the planet that will deliberately target, hunt and eat a human being. So you have to be incredibly careful in your world. And I'm not sure that I would qualify this as careful because the way that we got into their nests was by hooking ourselves onto a rope on the underneath of a helicopter. We're now flying in on the sling, heading into the nest. This is absolute madness. But it got crazier because finally we got into this really thick, long razor grass and you could see the nests of the crocodiles below and the female crocodiles lying over the top of the nests, protecting them. And that was where we needed to get. We actually stood on the nest of a saltwater crocodile as she, right in front of us, reared up, opened her mouth and showed off those, those great cone-shaped teeth and jaws. And it just felt like madness. We did, though, take it one stage further because we needed to find out which animal had the biggest bite. And to do that, we had to bite test a big saltwater crocodile. Inside here, hidden underneath all of those aquatic plants, is a 4.7 meter long crocodile. And we've got a perfect opportunity to actually test out its bite. We took in this bite test gauge. I put it in the water in front of him. And he just went, ah! onto the gauge and then swung it around two or three times, picked me up in the air, slammed me against a tree like I was a rag doll. I just got absolutely smashed. Whoa. Good Lord, the power of the animal is phenomenal. Um, unfortunately now, we've lost the bite gauge, the camera and the stick. Holy moly. <laughs> I don't know how much force he generated because he totally took my gauge, it sank to the bottom of the pool, and I, for one, was not going in there to find it. So, who's going to win? Well, it is the biggest biting animal on the planet, so it has to be the salty. And in fact, they have a bite force that probably compared with that of some of the biggest of the dinosaurs. And what do you guys think? I mean, that one has to be the salty, surely. There's lots more Deadly Showdowns available, so head to BBC Earth Kids and hit subscribe. And also, oodles more deadly content. So lots, lots more of me. You can't get away from me. All the very best from me, Stevie B. Ah.